first species greetings from the North America. This is Venerable Zi Qing from the Shilai Temple. Thank you for having me today. And before I go into details, I'd like to ask if by any chance, if anyone would know the first educational institution founded by Venerable Master Xin Yun. Is there anyone know? The first educational institution founded by Venerable Master Xin Yun was the Ci Ai Yu Zi Yuan, Ci Ai Kindergarten at Yilan in 1956. What does this mean? This means that Venerable Master Xin Yun prioritized the education in his diverse approach in propagating the Dharma, especially the children's education. And today I would like to uh, touch on is about this quality education and the case sharing will be emphasized in children education. And we'll briefly talk about these three contents and why is it so important of the quality education of Buddhism, how to uh, carry it out and what are the outcomes. So on 2021 spring, the tech school of Shilai Temple has started a project, the Kid Dozen Project. It is a long-term project where the students learn something about the temple and then they have to undergo some evaluation and they, they will have a chance to pair with an adult docent to tour the visitors. Nevertheless, we are just at the beginning stage of the project where the students are still learning about the items. And why is this project has been included in the tech school curriculum? Um, I know some of you from the Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and the States. If one day there is a visitors walk into Nantian Temple, New Zealand South Island Temple, Vancouver for Guangshan and Xilai Temple, and he or she asks, who are those Buddha and Bodhisattva? And why are they having the different hand gestures? Are you able to answer those questions? Or you will turn to, Venerable, please help me, I don't know. So that's why we are implementing this project into curriculum. So if the program of a temple do not teach Buddhism, then where else teach Buddhism? And secondly, by understanding the meaning of the statues and the building, the students gain their sense of belonging gradually and they were being proud to be a Buddhist. Eventually, we hope that to increase the population of the Buddhists. Yeah, our ambition is so high, but how to execute the project? What are the steps? So firstly, we have to be very clear with the learning content. For example, the first attempt of us was getting to know about the Bodhisattva in the Bodhisattva halls. And secondly, you have to be very clear with the learner's capability. For the docent, they are able to memorize long and complex sentences, but for kids, they do not. And last but not least, there are bunches of resources out there. And the problem is, do we know where to assess them? And also, we are very grateful that we are in Fogwangshan, our venerable master who has given us so many dharma. So this is the reference book that we have been using. Of course, we have already simplified the content to suit the students. So after teaching and learning, are the students really gain something? And how can we know that they are really gain something? So we have arranged a presentation and also we have compiled the mandatory song from the students and make it into a short video. And why is this video so important? I will show this video later especially during COVID, it shows encouragement to the students and also appreciation to the, to the parents. And it links to the second point, the increase of involvement. So from the number of enrollment, it is very significant. Before the COVID, we have in-person class, there are 56 students enrolled. And at the first year of COVID, they are 41, it dropped. But however, the students and the parents get used to the virtual class the number increased to 65 that year. That is even more than the COVID time. So after all, what is the role of YAD have to take part in this part? So in the temple, we have a lot of classes for kids and youth, such as scout and Sunday school, or the tour from different schools. 
and we have YAD in the temple, and how to connect these two groups of peoples? We need a pre, we need a bridge. We, the YAD being a teacher or teaching assistant in the class as a bridge to connect between two groups. So building up connection with students, nurture them with Buddhism education, giving them sense of belongings. So when the student growing up, then you start, you stand a chance to gradually lead them to become a YAD. So please remember, Venerable Master Shinyu started his very first educational institution with children education, the Ai Yu Ziyuan. We as the Buddha's light YAD for Wang Qingnian, we have the responsibility of passing down the light. So join us to make the light brighter. And thank you. And I will show you the video that um, of the Manjushri Bodhisattva that compile for the